What's going on, YouTubers? I am super excited. Not full excitement, because I only got one of the two boxes. Uh, just like with Orgrim Doomhammer, for goodness sakes, shippers. If there are two boxes together, ship same time, they should stay together. But here he is. Uh, not sure what's inside. It's pretty heavy. Big sized box, uh, you know, similar to the other queen sized boxes, I'll say. Uh, so here it is. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Keep in mind, this is my most anticipated statue ever. I was anticipating it actually tomorrow and I was hoping to get Orgrim today, but Orgrim's tracking updated to uh, New Jersey, far away from me. Let's see what we got here. I'm thinking it's Thanos himself. All right, hold on. All righty, so just like with Orgrim Doomhammer, it looks like I got the base first. Uh, so at least I can set this up. So we got the big base here, all the different parts and whatnot. The Avengers logo. So I'm not going to film me actually setting this up. There's plenty of videos out there of them doing that. I'm just going to show it to you right here. That's where it's going. And we could do a quick video review of just the base before the bus gets on there. So let's uh, set this bad boy up. Alrighty, folks. So I got Thanos bust base all set up. Uh, probably took me a good 20 minutes to get everything in there. It's labeled, but... Uh, it's just a little tricky. Uh, magnets fit in pretty decently. I do have one particular issue with mine though. Uh, first off, this thing was way dusty. Like it's been sitting in a factory for months, but here on the back of the base, first off, check out all this little crap. It's like the, the under sticker extended out and then styrofoam got stuck to it. So I need to like take a knife or just, you know, it's in the back, so I guess not a huge deal. But right here, there's a chip on mine. Check that out. And here's the thing, there was not a chip inside the like box. You know, like look at this dust right there. It's like, my gosh, this is just dust. And I even took a duster to it. I need to get like a little brush and just dust it all off. But I do have this chip here. Uh, this is clearly a QC issue because I did not find any chip inside of it. Plus, all this dust is honestly ridiculous. It's like, goodness. They could at least have covered these during Chinese New Year so they don't get super dusty. What is going on? So I wanted to review this bad boy before I throw on the Thanos uh, that's going to be arriving today. So I did get box number one first. Uh, this is for the Thanos bust, as you can see. So let's go ahead and check this out. But here's just a quick size comparison versus me, a uh, six foot four, 250 pound warrior. Alrighty, so here it is in the collection, just the base. Granted, it is on a Lazy Susan, so I can turn it very easily. But I wanted to show you guys the base of Thanos. So the way this is set up, uh, the base is basically almost all one piece except for all these little purple parts. So you basically have four parts right here, 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 and here on each side. And then on the back, you have three pieces, one, two, and three on each side. So we'll check out the back part first. So having glanced at this quite a bit since yesterday when I received it, I'm going to say this is the best bust base I've ever seen. Best in my collection. Best I've seen produced out there. I think it's the best ever made. It's absolutely beautiful and a masterpiece. So the theme is very similar to Thanos on Throne. Very Thanos spaceship type uh, theme, you know, so... Very, very cool. I love the design. I'm very happy they went after this look because I love that on the Thanos on Throne. That's one reason I love Thanos on Throne so much because of this general look where it's like the spaceship theme. You got these like thruster type things where you can see this would be spinning and this is where it became blue because of all the fire coming out like it's flying. 
So you have four on each side. And they also did a similar color pattern here in the lighting. So even though this is not lit up, I think it looks really cool. And so I'm glad they have that. You know, I'll probably incorporate the light up into my setup. But I think it's cool even not lit up the way they did that. It's not just like a white light, you know, like on like the half scales, for example. So here's where it will be plugged in. I don't have the plug in yet. I believe it's with the other box. But overall, it's absolutely amazing. You can see the different texture work right here, color patterns, all the detail done in here. They definitely went all out on this base, 100%. Even the under base, just everything looks amazing. The detail here on the front part, absolutely awesome. I love the logo, looks awesome. And the spaceship design on this is just amazing how it's like broken up and you can see the innards right here, these little coils. So obviously it's just lots of purple, grays, and golds. But absolutely fantastic and I believe Thanos will be coming right above these. Uh, we'll see when I get him. So you can see the three poking out on each side. But overall this base is absolutely amazing. Gets a perfect 10 on my scoreboard. It's big but not too big. You know this is a Stuva. I think if it was a Besta it'd stick out a little bit. So you definitely want to have this on a Stuva if you're doing Ikea options. It is quite heavy. It probably weighs a good 25 pounds, I'll say. It's quite heavy, so I definitely like that. You know, like the heavier the collectible, if there's ever, example, if I ever had an earthquake again, it's less likely to fall. So that is one reason I do like a heavier collectible. Plus this Stuva can hold probably like 600 pounds. So no worries of it ever collapsing the shelf. But overall, I think this base is perfect. It, I couldn't see a better Thanos base out there. So they absolutely killed it. It's a masterpiece in every way, you know, compared to like the ECC base or even my custom Pennywise, you know, this Thanos base is just so much better. Every other bust I own, this is by far leaps and bounds better. Even versus the other queen base. I mean, this is a decent base, very simplistic. But Thanos is just total grails. So there it is. So obviously Thanos just goes on top. And there's a few additional pieces that go on him. Uh, basically four different helmet things. So I'm not doing a full unboxing of this. Uh, you know, I'm just showing it to you guys. The unboxing is pretty simple. Like I said, the four on each side, three on each back. And then the helmet's going to have those different pieces. Uh, now I'm just waiting on the Thanos bust himself. Uh, which should be arriving today. I have big plans for today to celebrate me getting this because I've waited over a year plus for this. And well, no, I did order this through Spec Fiction. He's been great. And so I'm going to be getting Marco's Pizza. That's my new favorite pizza chain uh, here in my area. I love it. It's actually 50% off today, which makes it even you know, sweeter. I'm going to be watching Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Got them both right there. The still books uh both in 4k so i'll be watching that to actually watching avatar last airbender but i'm picking up pizza about 10 45 watching infinity war and then endgame and i'm sure in between the two movies i'll be getting the thanos bus so obviously i'll pause it film that review for you guys but i'm super excited this is my most anticipated piece will it top shockwave will it top my other silicone bus in terms of realism and just sculpt, we shall see. I will give my opinion. I'm going to look at it for a good while before I actually review it. Because I really just want to absorb it. And, you know, I'll give you my thoughts first off. But then I'm going to stop the review and review it like an hour later after I've really absorbed what I truly feel about it. Because sometimes when you get a collectible, you're so excited at the beginning that you oversee some of the flaws. So I'm going to let it sink in for a good hour before I give my full review but so far this base is absolutely amazing as you can see it's quite big it's gonna look amazing here so let's uh get to it then i ask you to what end dread it run from it destiny arrives all the same and now it's here or should i say
Alrighty, everybody, YouTubers, uh, Thanos has finally arrived. He is here. I am super stoked to open this for you. So here is the R box, very similar to the other one. It's actually a little bit bigger, I will say, but here it is. Awesome looking art box. Uh, did come with uh, care instructions on top, as well as a COA. So they do the COA similar to the ECC where it talks about it. Uh, I got number 487 of 666. Kind of a unique number, 666, you know, considering what that is. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I will say the straps were not super tight. So hopefully there's no damage. See what we got. Ooh, look at this. One felt pad here. Okay. Looks like they included a brush with some black gloves. So at least I can use this brush to dust off all the dust on the statue. That's actually quite nice. None of my previous queens came with that. Here is the adapter for the light up feature, which I'll check out later. That looks like Thanos is really just one piece, uh, you know, outside of the additional parts that were in the other box. So we're gonna, not sure the best method of getting him out. Alrighty, so here we go. This plastic wrap. Sure, this would be a lot easier with two people. Here it is. Look at that, folks. So we're gonna need to set him up and see what we think. Boom. So we're gonna go ahead and put him on his base. So let's get to it. Let's do some quick close-ups so you can see. Deep purple. Different than the Iron Studios one, no doubt. That one's more of a lighter purple. I think this is probably more accurate because I just got done watching the movie. It's massive, huge. There's the parts we need to install on the head. So we'll just uh, get to that then. Alrighty, everybody, we got Thanos Bust all set up here in the collection. Uh, in all his glory, he fits perfectly up here on top of a stuva. You know, I was worried he might be a little too tall, you know, and potentially hitting the ceiling, but he doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and review this bad boy, give you my honest opinion. I got the tape measure so we can measure him, and then we'll dive deep into how he is. So first things first, let's look at how wide the base is, because the base width is always important. It's about 17 inches or 16 and three fourths. And the depth about 17 inches. So that's just the base. Actual Thanos himself, because he has very wide shoulders, is about 26 inches width. Now height, is about 30 inches. They actually advertised him a little bit bigger than that. Uh, so he's a little bit smaller than advertised, but I'm fine with that. You know, he's absolutely monstrous and he 
has tons of presence. So, you know, we've already done the review on the base. The base is amazing, perfect complement to Thanos. One thing I'll say, you know, upon taking this out that did kind of surprise me is the skin tone, uh, the color. Because in the actual prototype photos, the revised one, it was a little bit lighter. You know, it was more like this Iron Studios version, where this one is a much more darker, deeper purple. Whether I like that, uh, I think it's actually more accurate to the movie, because he actually had darker purples than the lighter purple you see here on the Infinity uh, Iron Studios version. So it's definitely a darker tone. Although I have seen some reviews where it seems lighter, so I'm wondering if they're, you know, it was a mishaps at the factory, if they wanted it lighter or darker. I think I might have preferred it lighter to match my Iron Studios, plus you'd be able to see it a little bit better. But I'm also fine with this because it's actually more accurate, where the Iron Studios should have been darker, you know, because I just finished watching Avengers Infinity War, I'm about to go watch Endgame. One thing as well, on the actual art box, they do have the lighter skin tone where this is darker. So that's just one immediate thing I did notice. The actual armor is super wide. You know, it's not the full width of his armor. If it was, it'd be probably more out to like right here. And then it would be way too wide and wouldn't look good. So I'm happy the way they did this. The armor is a beautiful gold tone, even better than the Iron Studios one, which is extremely good. This just has more rich, like, copper and gold tones, better detail, you know, the battle damage here. And I'll do some close-ups here in a second. Tons of battle damage all throughout, great texture work. You know, the helmet looks amazing, incredibly detailed. Now, it's absolutely massive. You can see the neck where before, when they first showed this off, he had no neck. And then they took in some feedback, so you can actually see the neck right here. And here it is, the back part. So you can see the armor, all this massive detail, you know, just like the Iron Studios version. So absolutely amazing, huge, incredible presence. Still find a little styrofoam here and there. Yeah, the armor looks absolutely fantastic. Overall, it's a very heavy bust, very wide, so you're obviously going to need some good amount of space. I got it positioned perfectly so it doesn't hit the back wall. So, yeah, here he is. Amazing, absolutely amazing, no doubt. So, you know, comparing it to the Iron Studios, they are very similar in a lot of ways outside of the skin tone. The face, now this is the part that you're really paying for, is the silicone face. You know, so it does have glass eyes, and the teeth are a resin that are painted to look acrylic. Although I do wish they did acrylic teeth. You know, looking at my Pennywise bus that has acrylic teeth, those teeth look more realistic than these ones. Uh, the eye, glass eyes, you know, it, you can't get any better than that. That's as real as it gets, really. So love the glass eyes. And, you know, it's silicone, so it's very touch, uh, soft to the touch. Uh, you know, I'm not going to touch or anything, not my greasy hands. But, you know, I did uh, touch it initially when I cleaned my hands, and the, it's very soft, just like my Pennywise. Very realistic skin tone look. It does have a slight greasy look, a uh, little bit oily, I'll say. They did include an instruction if you want to get rid of that, because uh, they say it's natural with silicone to develop a greasy-like uh, effect. So you can get like a makeup powder and a sponge and get rid of that. Although it doesn't bug me too much at all. But yeah, the helmet looks awesome. Uh, as far as uh, setting this uh, head up, you know, as you saw, there there's two pieces that go up here. And then there's two pieces underneath right here and here that you set it up. So I had to actually watch a video uh, for that little piece because I wasn't sure where it went, you know. So I do wish Queen would have included an instruction manual uh, on how to set this guy up. Just because, you know, they include numbers, but they should have color coded it so it'd be a lot easier. Because trying to, you know, I had to shine a flashlight in to see the numbers and everything. But everything fit pretty great. Uh, nothing was really loose. The magnets are all, you know, pretty strong. 
I like how they include this uh, nice little brush, you know, so if you want to dust it and whatnot, then you can do that. Works pretty good. You know, this did come extremely dusty, so at least they include this, which is nice. But I'd say, you know, design-wise and concept, they nailed it. This gets a perfect 10. Uh, the way it was put together, the base, the how big it is, you know, it feels, you know, pretty much Thanos life size, I'll say. You know, very, very big, humongous presence. So they nailed it on concept and uh, design detail. I don't think you could get any much better than this. I mean, when it comes to statues, silicone high resin, you know, bus like this is, is the best you're gonna get out there. So, you know, silicone skin, glass eyes. The only thing that could have been improved was the teeth. I still think the teeth look amazing. Uh, they don't have much of a gloss look to it, so I'd say maybe make them slightly glossy. Uh, you know, they look a little dry, uh, but they do look amazing, no doubt. And I don't think it takes away from the overall realism of the bust. The armor looks like real metal armor and something that Thanos would be wearing in real life. So they absolutely nailed that. So, you know, I think detail wise, you know, paint and sculpt, it's a perfect 10. It's couldn't get much better than this. You know, I, I do question a little bit on the skin tone, whether it should be this color or this color, because I think this color is what they have in the art box and they showed on the prototype, but then you get this. I think you can see the face a little bit better when it's a little lighter. When it's darker like this, it's harder to see it, especially if you don't have good lighting. Luckily, you know, I have two light things right here. So, you know, plus it being up high, it's very easy, for, you know, for me to have it uh, here and see it well because of the lighting. This is angled slightly down. So I do think it's a bust you definitely want to display a little bit higher. Plus when a bust is higher, it gains more presence. So I think overall it just looks better when it's like that. As you can see, it's a great compliment to the Hot Toys Infinity Gauntlet. You know, he did wear this armor at the beginning of Infinity War while wearing the gauntlet, so that technically is accurate, you know, especially if you want to do this with the gauntlet as well. So definitely a great companion piece having this and this next to it, I think, uh, looks great. And I'm glad it's not too wide that it's going to cover the one-tenth scales. I was worried it was going to cover that in this art print, uh, but it doesn't. So it actually fits here perfectly, has amazing presence and they definitely knocked it out of the park. So let's go ahead and do some close-ups now so we can uh, so you can see all this detail I'm talking about. Alrighty, so let's do our close-ups on this bad boy. So let's just check out that face first. So here is the face. In camera, it's showing up a lighter purple than it does in real life. Uh, in real life, it is darker. I'm not sure why it's showing up lighter. I actually wish it was more like the lighter photo because then you can see the detail a little bit better. But as you can see, it definitely has a lot of like shininess to it, a greasy type look, which I may or may not do what the instruction says where you apply it, like a makeup powder. I just don't know if I want to do that. But sculpt-wise, it definitely has, you know, perfect likeness to Thanos. Looks just like him. All right, you got to just get some good looks at him. Very wide. Again, this is a Ikea Stuva, which is 19 inches deep, 23 inches wide. So you can see he fills up the shelf pretty much completely. You know, his base is actually slightly hanging off, but it's on top of this uh, Lazy Susan. This is a 20 inch Lazy Susan that can hold up to 250 pounds. So the bus itself probably weighs about a good 50 to 60 pounds, I'll say. You know, about 30 for this, maybe 25 or 30 for that. So it's definitely a heavy bust, you know, it's massive. But I, I just want to be able to, anytime I want to look at any of the detail, you know, like from the back, because it's a shame to hide all this beauty back here. And that's why I got it on this Lazy Susan, so I can turn it anytime I want. Or if I'm watching TV and I just want to have him angled at me, 
you know, if this was not in a lazy season, this would be so difficult to move. You know, it's like, goodness. We can just see, you know, next to the Iron Studios, which we're gonna do a quick little, you know, check out the difference between the two. The eye colors are different on this. On this, it's blue. On this, it's more brownish. Look at the teeth on this versus the teeth on that. See, this has more of a shiny look on the Iron Studios, which I wish this was a little bit more shiny. I wish instead of making that skin tone shiny, they would have did it on the teeth. I do think this is the best Queen Studios bus they've made so far. I think it trumps any current ones shipping and any pre-orders. You know, and they have a lot of great statues in the works, uh, but I don't think this will be topped. Uh, both conceptually, size, just overall coolness. I mean, this is Thanos, the greatest villain ever created from the two best movies ever made. So I'm beyond happy to own this. Let me show you guys the COA. If you want to just pause and read that, you can. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, light-up function now on this. I haven't tested that out, so... Let's test that bad boy out. Hey folks, so I connected the Thanos bust uh, to my lighting system. So basically I press number two and it turns on Iron Spidey, the Gauntlet and Thanos. So let's check this out. Boom. And the Gauntlet's on and Spider-Man. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the light off in the room now so we can get a better view of it. There you go. So it's not super bright, nothing super fancy, but it's cool. Better than having no light at all. So if we turn off all that. So there you have it, as you can see. You know, it's better than nothing, I suppose. If they wanted to incorporate a light up, I think this is the best option. Alrighty, so I just googled some pictures of Thanos and I am 100% certain this skin tone is too dark compared to the movie. I think Iron Studios is more accurate. So this is a big hit on Queen Studios. They showed off this. This is what was shown off. This is what I ordered. And then I get this. So that's definitely a big negative point for me. I wish the skin tone was lighter. They made them too dark. And the eye colors are wrong. Iron Studios version is correct. I looked at Endgame and Infinity War eyes and they were not blue. They were more like this color. More of a brown look. Uh, so considering this is a licensed piece, I'm honestly surprised Marvel approved them doing the wrong eye color and skin tone too dark. And they even revised the original skin tone because the original one was super bright purple. And then they made it a lighter purple, and then what shipped was a dark purple. So, I I mean, I like the blue eyes, and I know we had blue eyes in a, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers 1, but this is not based off that. This is based off Avengers Endgame, and that's two big fails in my opinion. The eyes should be brown, and the skin tone should be lighter like Iron Studios. So that's a big miss, in my opinion, by Queen Studios. Shame on you. Uh, you had one job and you failed. So is this the ultimate bust? I don't think it is because they failed on that. You know, it's like I am a sucker for accuracy and they failed on the eye color and the skin color. I mean, it is an amazing bust, no doubt, and a grail, but they definitely failed on that skin color. I don't like it that much. I much prefer a lighter skin color like my other statues. You know, you can tell it looks way darker than the freaking Infinity uh, Iron Studios version. Just look at that. Look at that right there. Way noticeably darker. Now it's even darker than like the freaking sideshow one. Like, uh, check out the sideshow. Yeah, it's even darker. They definitely effed up big time on this skin tone. 
Shame on you, Queen Studios. Pay $3,000, they show one thing, ship another. That is a big fail in my opinion. So I think Captain Marvel will be my last Queen Studios uh, bus from them. Cause, you know, paying three grand and then you get a bad skin tone and wrong eye color. That's just a big no for me. And the weird thing is I've seen other Thanos bus ship that look like they had the lighter skin tone. So the fact they made this so dark, you know, it's like, it's hard to even see it. You know, it's like the detail. If it was lighter, you'd be able to see all the detail much better. So I am disappointed in that. Is it the best collectible in my collection? No. Shockwave is better. I think Shockwave overall is a better statue. Is this face better than that face over there? I mean, I, I think I like the Pennywise more. The, you know, the accuracy of that Pennywise with the real hair and everything. I think it's, you know, just a little bit better for me. Don't get me wrong, this Thanos is a grail, but that skin tone is way off for me. Still an amazing bus, no doubt, but they should have fixed that skin tone. Not sure why they made this so freaking dark. It's annoying as fa. Should be more like this. Let me know your thoughts. You know, because I was... Thanos' skin tone is always so tricky because there are certain parts in the movie where it looks super dark purple. Other parts, it's light. I don't know if it's just the lighting. Is this what his skin tone looked like in the movie? I don't know. It just seemed, it seems a little too dark for me. Yeah, let me show you a close-up on these teeth now. So check out those teeth. You know what I mean where they look kind of dry? Like this could use one gloss coat. And then look at this one. You know, this is acrylic teeth and it just looks more realistic for me than this resin teeth. You know, I still think these this teeth looks very good. And, you know, check out the eyes. They look very cool. They're just inaccurate. Look how greasy that is. Goodness. I think I need to remove that grease. Here is his nut chin. Maybe I'm being a little harsh. Maybe I'm not. But when you're paying $3,000 and they show one thing like on that art box over there and then you get this it is a little disappointing and also the fact mine had damage on the base but here it is in the display let me know what you think definitely amazing no doubt and i do love it i just wish that skin tone was a little bit lighter and the eyes were brown not blue for some reason, they always do blue eyes. I've even seen custom movie heads where it's just blue eyes and not brown like it is in the movie. In the movie, Thanos had brown eyes, not blue. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I mean, overall, I like blue eyes more than brown anyways. But I do like accuracy. When you're paying for a movie statue, you do want accuracy, not, you know, an artistic take. This might be accurate for Guardians of the Galaxy, I'll need to Google some pics of that to see if his skin tone was this dark ever. But for Avengers Endgame, it's definitely too dark. That's my opinion. Maybe this will change over time, but for now, I am slightly disappointed in that skin tone and the eye color. I'm going to ask Queen Studios why they made it like this. Because what they showed in actual prototype was different than this and for three thousand dollars goodness this is not the first time they've effed up their original logan wolverine hugh jackman bust prototype was amazing it had great likeness and it turned out crap i also think their ledger doesn't look anything like heath ledger and the hair is horrible so queen is not without mistakes you know they're a newer company they're trying to get their stuff together but they're also charging three thousand dollars so you do expect accuracy you know, I paid three grand for Shockwave, and I think Shockwave is a better statue. So Shockwave is still the king in my collection as the best statue in my collection.
That's it though, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.